welcome to Cedar Hill Country Market. Today I'm going to show you how I make our gardener aprons. Um, these are a half apron, not a full apron. And uh, we try to pick fabrics that can get dirty and not show so much. So I'm going to show you um, which fabrics I'm going to use today. The back side of the, the apron is going to be made out of this Waverly uh, fat quarter. And that's the size of the apron that we're going to make. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I use fat quarters all the time to make aprons. And so if you have a stash of fat quarters, um, these are perfect. They don't need a waistband. They're super easy to put together. Um, in fact, most of my customers would prefer not to have waistbands in their aprons <laughs> for whatever reason. So uh, this is 18 inches by 21, and I know some fat quarters come in variable sizes, but this is the size I'm going to use. Um, the front of the apron is going to be made out of uh, this fabric that you see here with all the little garden tools and garden. I got this fabric at AuntBeesFabrics.com. I'll leave a link. I think that's the name of it. I'll leave a link to the, to the place where I purchased this fabric if this is what you think you would like. Um... And uh, we also make our kitchen aprons uh, using the same idea. We just use different patterns for the kitchen aprons. But you can find these aprons on our website at cedarhillcountrymarket.com. Now, I've had a couple of people private message me and tell me that, you know, they would subscribe to my channel, but I'm constantly promoting my website. Um, all I have to say about that is that no one can better promote my products but me. And this channel isn't really a how-to channel, how to sew, how to uh, put projects together, how to make crafts. I'm showing you products that we make available on our website. And uh, they're made majority of the time by me specifically, if not uh, from staff that are all over the United States that I purchase from. So um, anyway, let's get started with the apron. I'm going to be uh, using for each uh, side are going to be scissors, uh, 24 or inches cutter. or the length of the fabric of of uh, this fabric right here. So um, what I'm going to do is this is pretty easy. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go press this, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and press this sheet, because you really shouldn't sew anything with wrinkles in it. It, it changes the out. measurements And I'm going to be using so my rotary cutter, and I'm just going to be cutting this extra part off of the fabric. I'm just going to line it up. I'm making sure that the selvages are on the same a row down here at the bottom. So um, we're going to go ahead and cut our fabric. Like I said, this is a really inexpensive, if you're good at sewing, uh, then you could probably make these. But if you would like to purchase them, you can do so as well. So all I'm doing is, since I cut two layers of fabric on the bottom, is I'm trimming, I'm cutting those two separate, separately, so that I can only work with these two. Okay, so I'm going to put fabrics right sides together. Um... This is the back side of the print, this is the front side, this is the front side of the green, and this is the back. I don't think it really matters on the green because of the shade of green it is. And my selvages, what, I'm, what we like to do here is I like to use a serger wherever possible because it really helps keep the... Uh, all of our articles of clothing or aprons or anything like that, sergers really help uh, serge the seams. And uh, we like to sew French seams or 
making sure that anything doesn't come apart if this, this item is ever washed, which I think it would be. So I'm going to surge uh, uh, the bottom part of this apron, and then we're going to come back and I will cut out the straps for the apron that are going to go okay, uh, on the inside the before the we apron. sew this. I'm going to show okay, so you, back and just, um, I didn't have the camera on just a second ago, but the the double piece of cloth, the, the other fat quarter that was on the bottom of the printed one, I cut double layers of fabric, and here's what I'm going to use for um, the rest of this fabric. I cut two four inch strips off of the bottom of that fat quarter, and then the remaining amount which is 10 inches by 11 inches is going to be our pocket okay and the pocket we're going to surge all the way around all the way um, so that the edges don't fray when it's washed or anything like that we're also going to surge our straps we're going to surge all the way around them because we don't want them to fray at all either. Right, so we have surged um, all the way okay, around so we'll our do that edges and we'll do that. for our two straps. And if you don't have a serger, um, when I didn't have one, I just zigzag the edges, and that's that'll help uh, keep the fabric from fraying. So if, if for any reason, I know some people don't have sergers, I do, and uh, I don't know how I, I don't know how why I live so long without one. So, okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do our straps. Um, we don't like to take the time. Uh, some people fold it like this, and then they sew one stitch down and they close off one end and then they spend a lot of time struggling and pulling and trying to flip it inside out i'm not going to do that um that's not how it's not a good effective uh time for me so i'm going to fold these inward like this and then i'm just going to take my iron and i'm going to press remember the bottom here has been all surged around so this isn't going to fray it's not going to come undone so if you remember we did these four inches and so um, I'm folding mine in like that making sure all my stuff is and then I'm going to fold it in on this side <coughs> and I'm going to press this in on this side it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be even you know none of that i've even seen some people use um a bias tape maker to make their straps they just pull it through the little bias tape maker and that makes some really nice straps too and then I'm just gonna fold them in again so you've got some really good strong straps here because we we're gonna have four layers of fabric so they're gonna be nice and strong and they won't sag or make the apron sag at all either. Okay, we're going to do the same to this one.
Okay, and so what we're going to do next is we're going to take the, our little straps here and we're going to make a we're going to go to the sewing machine and make a stitch a, just a single stitch all the way down each one of these straps to to secure them and they are really uh, sturdy little straps now, we've got our straps okay, all done we'll do I'm that and we'll trim off that. some um, threads here Okay, but our straps are really, really nice. Very nicely done. I don't like aprons that tear apart once you wash them once or twice. So I take a lot of pride in making these aprons uh, because they're something that I would buy. And most of us, when we pick up a garment, we can look at it and tell whether or not it's been really well made or not. Especially if you're a seamstress. All right. Now we've got our pocket. And I'm going to make sure that my uh, pattern is correct. And I'm going to go ahead and measure out. I'm going to use a little pen here. I'm going to use my pressing board here, I think, to measure them out. But we're going to need a, I'm going to do two uh, five inch pockets, and then the pocket in the middle is going to be bigger, so you can put like seed packets and, you know, uh, garden, little garden uh, labels or things like that inside. So on the sides, you're going to have your five inch. And then in the middle, I'm just going to have whatever that space is left over. I'm going to go ahead and measure these out. And I'm going to come off about two inches from the ends, uh, end of the pocket. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to come off about two inches, and then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to mark this one. I'm going to have a pocket here. And all I'm marking these is I'm going to have a seam going down just like that. And then from the end over here, I'm going to do the same thing. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have mark this one. So, these are where my seams are going to come in. And then we'll have the one big pocket um, in the middle, like that. It's hard to talk through when you're doing these on videos because, you know, most people watch these videos because they want to know how to make something. And I'm not really good at teaching how to make that stuff, um, but I'm really good at showing you how I do it. So we're going to go ahead and install the straps the and get the rest of the, the apron sewn up. And then I'm going to attach tucked inside so that when we flip this over, it's going to, the straps are going to be in there. I've surged the straps um, on as well. And we're going to stick the straps on the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to surge. I'm going to surge halfway on this side. And I'm going to leave about a two inch or three inch gap here open so that I can flip this uh, over. I can flip it inside out. And we can go ahead and make a top stitch all, right. all the way around the Sewn apron it. once it's flipped out and on the sewing machine. Okay, so we'll do that. A little gap we'll... from the serger, so this is open. And I'm going to flip it inside out. Go ahead and trim these off real quick. Just an adorable little apron. It's just perfect.
perfect for using in the garden. And this fabric is really nice. I got this from an online store called Aunt Bee's, if I didn't mention already. And um, what I loved about when I first ordered from them is they had a little bit left on the bolt and they went ahead and included it in my order. And that's a real plus, you know. You don't find, I know even going to Joann's or Hobby Lobby, they won't throw in anything, so you have to pay for the extra. And these people just fulfilled my order, and they didn't, they didn't charge me extra for the fabric. And that just, I love places where you have wonderful customer service. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give this a press, making sure that all of our seams are beautiful just love this fabric it's really nice and I believe this was manufactured in the UK this fabric but it was purchased in the United States this is not a China uh, printed design Ahead and flip it around. We'll get the back. Waverly also does a really great job with their fabric. I'm not sure where Waverly fabrics are manufactured. If you know, you can post it in the comments below. my little turner here to poke out my corners making sure that they're completely out okay do the same to the other side going to do is we're going to close up this space right here and I'm going to press it so that I can get a really good straight line on the sewing machine and it takes a little time to do Want to make sure that it's all of our threads are put in. We want this garment to or this apron to ask to last. We want this apron to last a very long time for whoever has it. We also personalize too if, if you ever bought an apron from us and you really wanted somebody's name on it you just need to leave that in the notes section of your order we watch for notes on orders so we will more than likely see that all right we're gonna go do our top stitching on the sewing machine and I'll go ahead and also attach the um, the pocket as well. Now the pocket I'm going to turn in um, approximately one inch on all sides. So I'll go ahead and press this before I take it over to the sewing machine. Want a really beautiful 
pocket. And our edges are all surged, so this is going to be, this apron is going to be really easy to wash and press again. And I'm just going to follow my marks that I made and get my pockets done. is all completed and you can see from right, this is probably going to be easier for y'all to see the completed. stitching on it but here are the smaller pockets the larger one in the middle and then the same size one over here on the edge and trim off these threads all right it's all ready to be purchased. Nice big pockets, double lined, washable and wearable for many, many years. But you could put uh, somebody's name here on the front. You could put an image on the front or a name here. You don't need a waistband. It works perfectly. And this is pretty much one size fits all. You don't need a uh, if you wanted to do a child's version of this, I would just recommend that you uh, take off about four or five inches from the bottom and the side, and that would give you a perfectly good size for a child's apron. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you'll join me next time to see what we have available on our website that's American-made, handmade, and... Uh, we appreciate all your support and everybody have a blessed day. Find somebody to bless.